video is just like all love. This is a better rewind than YouTube rewind. World Cup literally has the word world in it, so I feel like everyone cares about it. It takes a few seconds, so I'll switch this one on. Oh, is this like a Google Talk. most Alex. of 2018? This is the, the Google Alex. video? I heard that Jeannie's voice Alex. is in it. I'm in this. My voice is Jeannie. in this. Alex. Alex? Oh, is he hearing for his first time? Hello, you. Aww. This is a miracle rescue. That all, all right, there's uh, the kids in Thailand. Out of the cave. He turns into a superhero. Whoa. Set on feeding as many homeless people as possible. <laughs> this election, so precious. This election, we've seen historic voters. Ah. In all Asian cast, there's nothing more empowering. In all Asian cast, there's nothing Yay, Genie! Wait, is it Genie? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Oh, uh, the Yodel Kid. People have many talents in this world, and mm, almost like 99% of these people don't get a spotlight. Fortnite, yes. News Anthony Outfield. Oh, this thing. All the trends. I was saying the word Yanni. The Laurel and Yanni, all of it's coming back. Well, there's life. Are they trying to make us cry? Is that the goal? Because it might work. The kids have the dream. They just. LeBron. He's a good teacher. Shout out to all the teachers, honestly. Who's a good boy? Of course. Welcome. I can't believe the Olympics were this year. Wow. Was that Will Smith? Oh my god. I suppose this wasn't a very eventful year, wasn't it? So much happens every year, it's kind of hard to keep in track. Oh, Anthony Bourdain. What do people do in the back? Sad. You know, who love their kids and would like to live their lives with a little dignity. and. This is so beautiful. It's just this video is just like all love. This is a better rewind than YouTube rewind. Yes, Google. I hate that it's an ad for a company, but I do like the idea behind this video. A lot of people have been saying this should be the YouTube rewind. I kinda agree with that. That was from the React episode of Asians React to Crazy Rich Asians. I cannot believe that I that my voice represents the start of this epic era of diversity and multi multiculturalism in Hollywood. So that was Google's year in review video that they put out every year. That was fun. It was not, no cringe. Google featured many of the world's biggest events of the year, and you might have noticed that one of the clips actually comes from this show. Jeannie was talking about the film Crazy Rich Asians. Hell yeah, good for Jeannie. It just kind of goes to show like the impact that YouTube has. Google, like many online platforms, puts out an entire year in review, including the most searched terms of the year. I mean, that's cool. That is really cool. Today, you're actually going to see if you can place the top 10 most searched terms of 2018 in the correct order. Okay, this should be fun. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. I like to set the standard really low to see if I could do better. Black Panther! Hey! Black Panther is one of the top ones? See, I, would, I wouldn't have guessed. Soon, there will only be the conqueror. Oh, heck yeah. And the conquerors. The soundtrack on this was amazing. It made like a lot of money, that's what I know. That's tough. Five, kind of in the middle-ish. Number three. This matters. <laughs> I'll put it at number three. General relativity predicted the universe. Stephen Hawking. Had a in the Big Bang right, he passed away this year. That the universe had a beginning in the mm. Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago is now accepted by most people working. I can't believe we lost him this year. Supported by. I was so heartbroken when he died. Background of microwaves. Such a smart man. Seven. I'll put Stephen Hawking at like number eight. Seven for Stephen Hawking. <laughs> He made such good music. He was the reason why I got into EDM. I think he had like more plays and stuff like after after he had died. Like people went and like listened to his music more. So many people died this year. So basically you're the most searched when you die. That's sad. Number six. I'm gonna put him at number five. Avicii was quite popular. I'm gonna put Avicii at three. Royal wedding. This is a big deal. Meghan Markle, that was huge. Everyone was talking about it. I love big fancy weddings. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. She's beautiful. She deserves all of this. 
Look at them, they're so happy. Every one of these makes me less and less confident about where I'm putting things. This probably just wasn't a big deal to me. Cause like, I don't know. It's just not my my thing. Get it, girl. Okay, I'm gonna put that as number two. Three. Son of a bitch. I feel like that might be a big one. So I'm gonna put that at number three. So we sold Kate Spade and- Kate Spade, I, oh personally. my gosh. I don't know about Andy. Took off- I mean, I looked this nine, up. I don't know about Andy. Took off a good nine years. This is so sad. Why are you guys doing this to me? Raising my daughter and absolutely adored every moment of it. She also passed away. Yeah, I, I can definitely see the pattern. 10. Put her at 10. I'm gonna put her at number 10. I'm sorry, Kate Spade. We're now one of my uh, favorite places in London. Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> it's just the list of the most famous have people who have died this year. I like mine animal style. And I'd tell you what that is, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Secret menu, what y'all know about that? I'm having in and out today because of this, in his honor. There it is, my favorite restaurant in Los Angeles. Same. Everyone wants to figure out who they are after they're dead. It's messed up. I'm gonna put him at five. Number four. Anthony Bourdain is like, is up there. I'm gonna put him at number three. Oh, X, that's right. I can't listen to X's music anymore. Like every time I listen to X's music, I just get sad. I'm sad and such a good song. I was stunned at the reaction to his death, like how, how divisive it became. This was a huge deal to do the music community. Okay, I definitely know that a lot of people were tweeting about this guy just because our generation is so focused around music. I'm gonna have to go with three. I'm gonna put him at number six. Seven, but now I'm feeling like I'm gonna have to rearrange things. Here is the planet's ultimate game. Right, the World Cup did happen this year. World Cup has to be number one. The World Cup literally has the word world in it, so I feel like everyone cares about it, so it's gotta be top three. Football is the most popular sport in the world. I was so happy when France won. Damn. Possibly now I, controversial, personally don't care about soccer, but a lot of other people do. It is France. Cool. Um, World Cup. World Cup's pretty big. I'm gonna set the World Cup as a number one. Ten. Just because it wasn't exciting. Number one. All you overseas people, you're like, of course that would be number one. So good. So good. Mac Miller, oh my gosh, these are so sad. <gasps> no, stop. It's my favorite song. I listened to Mac Miller. I was never like a diehard fan of him. He's so talented, too. It's so sad. This one, yeah. There were so many celebrity deaths that just hurt. A lot. I'm putting them at number nine. A number two. At number eight, because I don't know what number two is. Number two, because I remember a lot of people talked about him too. I'm Stan Lee. I've oh my God. Generation. How the hell did I forget Stan Lee? During this time, I think I've learned a lot about what young- He looks so different. More importantly, I think I've learned a lot about what young- I love Stan Lee. Are. Even if they have- I got to meet him a little while ago. Believable. What very nice guy. Has to be what any normal person would do in those situations. Jesus Christ, man. You guys see, like, my eyes are watering. He's a cool dude. For now, I guess I'll have to set him at 10. I think he's well deserving of the second spot. You're taking number four. You know, I think my list is pretty good. So now that you've watched through all of these, we're going to give you a chance to make changes. Let us know when you're locked. Remember, you get two points for every answer you get exactly correct, and one point for every answer you're only one off from. Fudge, this is hard. There's so many good, like, people up here. I'm going to put Black Panther at number four, and then the rest is going to be the list of dead celebrities in memoriam. People, I feel like, tend to search the sadder thing. So, like, top three can be World Cup, Stan Lee, Black Panther, but then it's a lot of the major celebrity deaths that hit people, and then Meghan Markle, and then Kate Spade. Okay, um, we'll leave it. Coming at number 10, Kate Spade. <laughs> all right, all right, well, off to a good start. Oh, yeah, got it. So I'm one off, so I get one point, right? Coming at number nine, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, okay, I had him at seven. <laughs> what? Put him as number three. He's one of the greats. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Oh, okay. I was only off by one. Coming in at number eight, XXX Tentacion. He was eight? Really? Plus one for him then, all right. I put him as number seven. So I get one point. Coming in at number seven, Anthony Bourdain. He, I put Anthony Bourdain at five. I thought for sure he would be a little bit higher, actually. Okay, I'm one off. Oh, I got that one. Yeah. Coming in at number six, Meghan Markle. Oh, uh, really? Okay. I put Meghan Markle at nine. Off by one. I'll take it. I was one off. I actually got that one. 
Right on the dot. Number six, Meghan Markle. Coming in at number five, Black Panther. Number five? Wow. Got it right, let's go. Oh, yes, I knew it. See, Black Panther was like, I feel like it was the perfect like middle ground. I was like, that was really big, but you know, like it kind of died out. Coming in at number four, four, Stan Lee. Stan Lee, oh man, I said Stan at eight. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Okay, so I got plus one for Stan Lee, all right. Oh, I got that one, nice. Coming in at number three, three. Mac Miller. Oh, I put Stephen Hawking there, Mac, wow. I put Mac Miller at number four. Okay, one off. Dang, I should just switch them. Coming in at number two, Avicii. Two is Avicii, way off there. No way. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What? I put him at number 10. Coming at number one is the World Cup. Pew, 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 pew. Yes. Oh my God, I actually did much better than I thought. Yes, okay, good thing I didn't change that. I think I am for sure surprised that there were so many deaths on this list. It's almost seriously like losing a family member where you see this person that you look up to that person and then when they pass away, you reflect on that impact they had on you. So I think that's what a lot of people were doing this year. Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React. Shout out to Frank Calvin and Sierra Queen. Subscribe and hit the bell for more great shows if you need to figure out how. Just Google it. Bye. Hi guys, JC here, producer here at FB. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, but also subscribe to the React channel to see the reactors gaming, competing, and so much more. You can click right over here. Bye guys.